buried Ukraine space arc in Kherson began activating. So Russia takes over an entire city and region for the first time in its special military action. You are listening to Exopolitics Today with Dr. Michael Sala, your source for the uncensored truth regarding the human, extraterrestrial, global and political agenda. Click the like button and subscribe to this channel. And now, here is Dr. Michael Sala. News reports have confirmed that the Russian army has captured the Ukrainian port city and region of Kherson, where an ancient space arc is claimed to be buried. According to two independent sources, the space arc is buried under Oleshki Sands National Nature Park, which is only 25 kilometers or 15 miles east of Kherson. The space arc is said to be activating and predicted to eventually begin flying into the air. Kherson is strategically important to the Russian military as it contains a freshwater canal to the nearby Crimean Peninsula, which is the only warm water port of the Russian Navy. Russia's capture of Kherson is vital for ensuring the long-term viability of its Crimean facilities, but also fulfills a new strategic imperative to gain access to and control the alleged space arc. I was first told about the Ukraine space arc by my longtime source JP, who currently serves in the US Army and has been on covert missions to two other space arcs. One mission was to the moon and two others have been to the Bermuda Triangle area of the Atlantic Ocean. All three missions were jointly conducted by the US and China and the second Atlantic Ocean mission included Russia, which had found its own arc but was not giving the US access. On February 11, JP gave me coordinates to a space arc he was told exists in Ukraine. The coordinates are for Oleshki Sands, which is the only natural sand desert in Ukraine and has long been a tourist attraction. The origins of the sandy desert have puzzled geologists and there has been speculation that it is a result of historical overgrazing by sheep. JP later described what he was told about the Ukrainian space arc in briefings and by others participating in the covert missions to ancient arcs being found all over our solar system and on Earth. On February 24, he left me the following voice message describing his new intel about space arcs being found in Russia and Ukraine. Remember I was telling you about the arc, how there was Russian surrounding the, the ship that we were on. They really wanted this information. That's why they went down with, you know, with, to the arc with us. And we gave them the opportunity to come down. We didn't have no problem you know, bringing the Russians and sharing information because we knew that this was huge. This is worldwide huge. You know, this is humongous. So all the world leaders need to know about this. So, but they, they did not keep their side uh, of the promise by not taking us to their arc. But now with this happening in Ukraine, that arc that is over there, um, I guess they want that information them and we were about to um, go to that part. Don't be surprised as they started that excavation on that old, old Oshaski Desert um, National Park and probably this could be one of the first ships to go up in the air and everybody can see now that the nation in the world is on this probably is going to be one of the first ones that's going to go up and everybody's going to see. And everything's going to stop to a halt. Everybody's going to be um, shocked because of this. JP's revelation that the space arc found in Ukraine is activating and US military authorities were ready to go in to investigate is very telling in terms of why Russia chose to intervene now. Even more astounding is his prediction that the Ukrainian arc will eventually begin flying into the air. Indeed, with the world's attention currently on Ukraine, a flying space arc will instantaneously become a global event of profound significance. On February 26, during my What's Coming in 2022 webinar, I publicly revealed for the first time what JP had told me about the Ukrainian space arc. 
I subsequently received important corroborating information from Thorhan Eredjian, a fleet commander of the Galactic Federation of Worlds, as relayed through Elena Denan, a former French archaeologist. Two days after my webinar, Elena relayed to me the following information from Thorhan about Russia's military intervention into Ukraine and the deep state's involvement with the Ark. Quote, this is not an invasion of Ukraine, but part of the cleansing operations. The deep state was attempting to activate the Ark, which they had found many years ago, buried underneath the sand in the lower southern part of Ukraine. The Ark activated, so it was time Putin got his hands on it. There is a second Ark in the north of Russia, but Putin already has control of it. End quote. Thorhan's information corroborated what JP had been told about two space Arks found in the region, one in Russia and another in Ukraine. It's very significant that the deep state has had a strong influence over Ukraine since 2014 and was attempting to activate the space arc found in a sandy region of southern Ukraine, Oleshki Sands. On March 1st, Forehand revealed more about the buried Ukraine space arc. Quote, Putin has his hands on the other arc in the north of Russia and he has been taught by positive extraterrestrials how to use this technology. It is information without consequence, because this Ark in North Russia is secured and in good hands, contrarily to the Ukrainian Ark, which, through to this day, March 1st, 2022, is in the hands of the Earth Alliance. It is still fought for by the deep state military based in the south of Ukraine, near the Ark, buried in the sand. End quote. Thorhan's information corroborates what JP had been told about Russia's control over a space arc found in its own territory. By March 2nd, Russia had defeated the Ukrainian military and had gained full control over Kherson, including Oleshki Sands National Nature Park. Kherson is the first Ukrainian city to fall to the Russian military, which is highly significant given claims of an ancient space arc found in the nearby Oleshki Sands. The discovery of a space arc that is activating under Oleshki Sands provides an understanding of why Russia has decided to militarily intervene in the Ukraine civil war that has been ongoing since 2014. Something dramatic must have happened behind the scenes to motivate Russia to intervene in a civil war that was essentially frozen as a result of a lack of progress on implementing the Minsk Agreement signed by Russia, France, Germany, Ukraine, and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. While some claim that the Ukrainian army was preparing a lightning military campaign to retake the contested Donetsk and Lugansk administrative regions of Ukraine, others claim that US-sponsored biolabs were the real target of the Russian attack. While these are plausible scenarios, neither one adequately explains why Russia conducted a full-scale military intervention from three directions after eight years of sitting on the sidelines. The discovery of a buried space arc and Russia's desire to take full control of it offers a more compelling explanation for Russia moving in and taking over Ukrainian territory far from the contested Donetsk and Lugansk regions. Russia's rapid takeover of Kherson is powerful circumstantial evidence that supports the revelations of JP and Thorhan about an ancient space arc found under the Oleshki Sands National Nature Park, and that this was the decisive factor in Russia's surprise military intervention into Ukraine. This has been Dr. Michael Sala with Exopolitics.org. I wish to thank JP and Elena Denan for passing on their information about the Ukraine arc. To learn more about Ukraine and what's coming in 2022 and beyond, I recommend my February 26 webinar, which is now available on Vimeo. Please remember to like and subscribe to my ExoPolitics Today podcast to receive further updates.